What's up guys, Mardi Gras Man 23 here and today I'm going to do a how to video. In this video I'm going to show you how to put all the parts from a particular set into your want it list on Bricklink. So then you, instead of purchasing the set, you can go to a bunch of different Bricklink stores and you can acquire all of the pieces to complete that set. So you may ask why am I doing that? Well let's suppose you want to build a green grocer and you look on Bricklink and the prices are astronomical. So then you go to um, eBay and I think a green grocer, I don't know, probably costs you between $600 and $1,000. So you could go on Bricklink and you could lo upload all of those parts into a wanted list. And then you could just shop around and you can acquire all those parts from different sellers. Now the reason I say different sellers is because it's very rare that you will find all of the parts to a particular set in one store. Unless you're lucky enough to find a store that has just parted that set out. So it does take a little patience, but it can save you a lot of money. Uh, you can you'll find you might find one piece. Maybe there's a one by eight in a certain color that is really expensive and you could substitute one by fours and save a lot of money that way. So anyway, we're not going to do the green grocer, but we're going to take a smaller set and I'll show you how to put it in your wanted list. So let's get started. All right, guys, so obviously you want to go to Bricklink and you have to log into Bricklink. And the first thing you're going to do is right here, there's the wanted tab. So we're going to click on the wanted tab and then we're going to go right here and we're going to look for you look down here and move the camera down it says part out a set upload parts from a set into your wanted list so we're gonna click that right there now we're gonna put in a set number like I said this can be any set that is in the Bricklink inventory which is just about every set the only ones you might have trouble with are some newer sets maybe they haven't been uploaded yet or some sets have the same number, like it might be a dash one or a dash two, and you. But on brick set, I don't believe they list them as dash one or dash two. Maybe they do. So anyway, you'll go to brick set. So you go to brick set, and let's say you want the balloon cart, which was a poly bag that was offered not too long ago, but I don't have it. So let's go get a balloon card so you go to brick set and you find out the number well the number is 40108 okay so then we're gonna tell it we want one set parts and whole minifigures and right here it says add to now you can add it to an existing list but whenever I do this I'm gonna give it its own name see right there balloon cart so we're gonna call this one at list a balloon cart one and in you put any condition you want let's put it as new um, any remarks you don't need any of that sort by color leave it like that submit for edit so as you can see right here there's the balloon cart and if we scroll down there is a parts list of every part that's in the balloon cart okay so now what we're gonna do is there's the minifigures well let's just say let's say you don't want the minifigures so if you go back up here you see this box that says delete you can scroll down and you might have some of these in your collection like a one by two plate let's just pretend we have that and we have this tile and then we come on down here and we don't want the minifigures and we don't want the instructions now you probably would want the instructions but I'm just doing this just to give you guys an idea so then when we verify items what it's gonna do is it's gonna take those items the items that I checked you see are no longer on there so now my wanted list consists of just what I want to go search for so then we're gonna upload these items so now, just like that, I have a new wanted list for the balloon cart loaded into my deal. So now how do you go find that? Okay, so now we're, we're back to the home page and now we want to go, let's go shopping for those items. So we're going to go right back to the wanted tab. Right there. 
And then if we look down here, it says my wanted list by shop. So let's click on that one. And then so what you can see is you can see these shops all have parts in my wanted list, but I just want the balloon cart. So we got to go right back up here to the top. And we got to change that to the balloon cart. My balloon cart wanted list. And there it is. So this is a list of stores that have parts for my balloon cart in them. And this is right up here you can change this from total lots to unique lots. So let's do that. And what it's going to do is going to tell you so this store right here has 59 different items and 23 lots. So let's just go look at that store. So we'll go to that store and then we'll go there's my balloon cart. It automatically goes to the link and now you see here's the problem that you run into is that tire is listed because he this guy doesn't have his deal his lots consolidated. So he's listed one, two, three, four, five tires. So you would scroll through here and you could pick off all the parts that you needed. And you just add them to your cart and then what I would do is I would actually after I add them to my cart I would go back let's go back to the wanted list and hey guys so let's say we made that order so we made that order from that guy and let we got 10, 10 different parts from him so then we're gonna come back to the my wanted list tab I'm really bad at this aren't I my wanted list and then we're gonna change this to the balloon cart and then we're gonna tell it to go and then we're going to hit this right here. It says edit only. And what that does is that shows me a list of all the items that are in the balloon cart. So now I can go down and you see right up here the, the one that says delete. I can check all these things that we just bought from this guy. So let's just say we bought, let's just go down here and click some stuff. Got the balloon balls. So we're just going down and we're checking off everything that we just bought from that store. And we're going to hit Submit Changes right there. And now we have a new list. So now when we do that, so then you just keep repeating this process until you have all the parts that are in your list. And you'll, before you know it, you'll have built the balloon cart. Now the, what I do is I have a, like for example, if I go to my wanted list, I have a train shed list. So I go right here and what I did was I bought a, a lot and it, it had a nearly probably about 50% of the train shed and what was different was is they had some, substituted some pieces. Um, for instance there was some I think there was some black pieces that were substituted for, for the old dark gray. So we'll go to edit only and this is my list of, for the train shed it's a pretty large list like I said some of the pieces I have in different colors but so every time I'm in a store every time I go to a store and I, I make a BrickLink order I'll look for I'll pull up um, let's just I'll just show you for example we'll go buy and let's go to my store well let's tell you what let's go to Brixar store so then I'll go over here and see all items on my wanted list and I'll change this to the train shed and so I do this on every store I go and then I decide so he has all these parts that are on my list for the train shed so I would probably add some of these to my cart if not all of them and then when I got that order in I don't do it till I get the order in when I get the order in I'll check those pieces off of my list and it's just a process. It might take me a year to complete this train shed because I'm not that much in a hurry to do it. But that's how I'm going to acquire all the parts to get my train shed complete, which I actually already have one. That's why I'm in no hurry. I'm just working on a second one. So that's it, guys. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this gives you a, a, something to, to work off of. I mean, if you watched couple of guys you see that they're working on uh, I think a fall man's working on the green grocer and he'll get parts in and you wonder how does he know what he needs or how does he know what he has well that's what you do is you have to take the time 
You have to take the time to input that wanted list, which you can see doesn't take any time. The time is going off of your list and checking off everything you have. And then you'll know what's left that you need. So then you just, as you're searching stores, buying different stuff, you just add parts for that. And before you know it, you're halfway complete. You're only looking for two or three things. And once you narrow it down to just looking for a few parts, then you can go search for that one part in different stores. And that's how you complete it. And by the end of the day, or I should say the end of the month, or however long it takes you to complete your set, you probably get it for half. Uh, half. If it's an old vintage retired set, you'll probably end up paying somewhere around half or 60% of what it, what it would be if you got it complete. Now some of the older sets, it's just it's not worth the time. You might as well just go ahead and buy it. But a large set like the Green Grocer, um, it might take you a lot longer to acquire it. It's a lot funner to hunt for the pieces and a lot cheaper to go that route. Or you might just not even be able to find one on eBay, so you got to put it together. So that's it for this video, guys. Please like the video and give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope I haven't rambled too long and you're still with me. Be sure to check out all my playlists. I do a lot of different types of videos. Check them all out. You can follow me on Instagram at Mardi Gras Man 23 And you can check out my Bricklink store at Mardi Gras Bricks. So until next time, guys, we'll see you later.